Yes. Welcome to the third Dev Talk this semester. We're going to have Chloe talk about her experience. She's graduating this December. Mm. So, she's had a few years here and a few years at West. All right, so yeah. I'm Chloe Kirk. Uh, I have a very interesting take on game development. So, I entitled mine Game Development A Step Outside the Cubicle. So, a little bit about me. Uh, I got my associates in animation and game development and web design from Mount West. I actually got two. I decided to get both the web and the gaming degree. So I'm in the same class as Corey and Michael, uh, even though I decided not to go on and do game development. Uh, so I actually switched to MIS, uh, Measure Information Systems. I like it a lot better. Um, as part of the degree at Mount West, they make you take an MIS class. And it basically is a giant overview of what MIS is. And I was like, this is really great. I really like this. I'd like to do more of this. And so I graduated from Mount West. I'm driving home, and I'm like, I don't want to do game development anymore, at least not as a degree. I would switch to the College of Business and do MIS. That was a great epiphany for me, because it actually worked out really well in my favor. And while I was at Mount West, I started being the project manager for Zelda Universe. Uh, I actually applied in December of 2015, and due to the holidays and everything, they didn't get back to me until January of 2016, and I've been doing that ever since, and I really enjoy it. What is that? Zelda Universe? I'll explain more in a little bit. So, discipline responsible, achievement-oriented, I'm always thinking, and I'm ever learning. And those are basically the five traits that define me. So what I am not, I'm not a programmer. I hate programming. I will adamantly tell you this for all of my existence. I'm not a graphic designer. I can do some things in Photoshop, but mostly I can just kind of make it work and look pretty and not do a whole lot. I definitely can't do 3D modeling. I'm terrible at that as well, and I'm not a musician. So I'm not any of the things that you would typically associate with game development which is great, but that's okay. So why does it matter who I am? So weaknesses will go away, but your strengths are here to stay. And as a society, we always focus on you gotta improve your weaknesses, you gotta be better at fixing the things that you're bad at. And I disagree with that. I think you should instead focus on improving your strengths. The opportunity this weekend, I was in Rosemont, Illinois at a conference with the Honor Society of the College of Business, and we took the Clifton Strengths Test. And it's a strength finder that has 34 different aspects, which is what the weird DNA looking thing is. And it basically says, here's your top five things you're good at. And here's a breakdown of 34 all things that you could or could not be good at. So there's actually an option where you can be like tell your teachers about it, and they can give it to entire classes. So that's why I included it in here. But you can also take it yourself. Um, it's $19.99 for the top five, and then 50 bucks for all 34. That's a little bit expensive. So you don't have to necessarily take it right now. But it oh, is sorry. a very useful tool. But you know, saying that, you know, you know yourself best. Like, you should hopefully know what your strengths are, <coughs> I would hope. So, yeah. you know, just because this test is useful doesn't mean that it's like the end all be all. And probably might not be worth putting that much money into. Might not be. Hold your comments till the end, Thomas. So, I said what I do, and the promises. <laughs> I am project manager for Zelda Universe's development team. So, uh, we typically use Slack to communicate. There's about 120 of us overall, not just in the dev team. Um, so we use GitHub to do all of our commits for Zelda Universe. We also have commits for the forums, because we have a forum. And then we run Zelda Maps too, which is the largest and most interactive Breath of the Wild map. It has all 900 cohort seeds, it has basically anything in the game, and it's interactive and you can organize it by category. So I've been working on that. Um, we were the first person to actually data mine the map out of the game and get it up. So we were very excited about that. Um, so I use Trello to organize all the projects. Um, I use it primarily for the dev team, but other teams within Zelda Universe also use Trello. So there's boards for columns, there's boards for features, there's boards for pretty much anything that we do. So like I said, the methods I use are Kanban, uh, so I use Trello mostly. But we implement Scrum because Scrum is sprint-based. Um, so we do two-week sprints, and typically in Scrum you would have a project like coordinator and a project motivator. Uh, I kind of have both hats and do both. Um, but basically, I check in every week, and I'm like, hey, have you done what you said you were going to do? If not, what's holding you up? How can I help you? How can I make it better? How can we get this done? And so that's pretty much project management of the Universe. So the Universe itself, though, does a lot of different things. Um, we went to PAX Australia during the weekend of the Expo. Um, we'll do PAX East. Um, I believe PAX South is coming up. We're in January. Um, and then, of course, we'll do PAX West and E3. We'll do MAGFest. Um, we do a lot of different things. Uh, we have a Twitch channel, we have a Discord, we have a Patreon, we have a store. So we have a lot of different things. 
Um, and I was lucky enough that as I was working on the development team, I actually got moved up to operations. So I'm now like fourth or fifth in line of the chain of command, so that's nice. Um, so some other things I can do that have absolutely nothing to do with Zelda Universe, but simply my degree is I can do managerial and financial accounting. There are actually two different types of accounting. I can do both of them. I don't really like doing them, but I can. I can do finance, so I know how to read stocks and bonds, and I can do the stock exchange if I need to, and I know how to like get loans and get a mortgage and all that if I need to. And I can do international and national management, um, so I've got lots of different management skills because there's a lot of management and management information systems. <coughs> Um, but what I aim to do, ultimately, is to become president of Nintendo of America um, and continue the Legend of Zelda for another 30 years because Zelda is very important to me. And I think that I want to share the experiences Zelda gave me with the next generation of players. So, leaving with a lot of quote, when talking about making games, he always seemed to be having the best time. So now, who are you? Thank you. Any questions if you have any? Yeah. Yes. Um, what is Kanban and I think it was Scrum or something? Okay, so there are different types of agile project management. So um, the reason I didn't talk about it much was because Keaton did in his talk. Um, okay. and I didn't want to like overhash what he'd already yeah. said. Um, but Scrum is actually a rugby term. It was taken from rugby and it's it's just another way of doing project management. They work in spreads, which are typically two weeks, and then they have like a project coordinator, which like gets everything together, and then a project motivator, which is like, hey, get the work done. How can I help you? Let me be whatever you need. So they typically have two people. I'm just one person. So, so that's how we kind of implement Scrum, but we mostly use Trello. So Trello is the Kanban system with the boards and moving the cards and everything. So. And um, also, you say you have a lot into like management. Uh, have you done work with like database type of stuff? I have. Um, like I can do hearing? SQL and PHP. So I can implement databases and then PHP forms and do it that way. Okay. Um, but I don't typically do that in the universe. I can do it, but it doesn't come up much. Uh, have you done anything with like access, or is it just like high school? Um, I can do. I'm basically at the level where I can be certified in access. I just don't have the cert, okay. so I have a lot of access experience. And then um, I've used the WAMP server. I don't know. Oh. So I, we would make forms in PHP and then implement them into the database, and then go into the database with SQL and make changes. So. Okay. So is all the universe like uses like a Git managerial system behind the bones kind of behind behind the surface kind of deal? Because because to my understanding, so from my understanding, I thought the universe was just a website that was like sort of like a mirror to uh, like a more indie mirror to like Game of Form or something like that. So like as far as like the scope of that kind of stuff, like. I'm just interested in what, what all else like well, the universe does. Because it's version control, probably just backups and all that. Um, do you want me to stop the recording because I can talk about oh, it? No. You, you can just keep it going. Um, well, I can actually show you what everything is. So, we have a podcast. Um, so, different like sections of different people. Um, so, Cody is COO. Amanda does Zelda News, and she also streams on Twitch. Uh, I'm not sure what Mitch does, but he's doing something. He does Mitch. is one of our new uh, streamers. She streams on Wednesday. She does colors with Omaker. She makes little like pixel art and other cool things. Uh, Gabron is one of our columnists. Um, and then um, I think Brian is also like, one of our columnists. So. Yes, sir. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, that was awkward. <laughs> um, but yes, we have like the forums. Um, okay. So I don't I don't use the forums that much, but we have like active forums. One hundred six people online. There's birthdays, stats. There thirty five thousand three hundred thirty eight members. One hundred seventy thousand threads. Six million posts. I just like the one of them so, says, "I've been made surrounding surrounding mom." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. We moderate what you can have in your signature, so they can't have crazy things. <laughs> I know, I think that's pretty crazy. <laughs> the features are like long articles like you see on like Kotaku or like oh, whatever you would typically see. Um, but we also have columns. Um, so on like a project behind the scenes kind of deal, you guys are actually like running this through like your own set of web service and like 
yes, using um, using using all that Git product technology to like like organize all of this. Yeah, so everything runs through GitHub. Um, it's a, it's actually a WordPress site. Um, you can't really tell, but it is. We hard code everything, so that's why you can't tell it's a WordPress site. But it runs off WordPress, um, and then everything is fed through GitHub. And um, yeah, much. And then we just use. So Git actually implemented like its own like organization system here recently, but we decided it would be too much work to use it versus using Trello since we're already using Trello. How is it that you found out about the job? Uh, so, oddly enough, I'm with Zelda Wiki. I would go to Zelda Wiki every day, and um, typically they have like latest news, and then they have the Did You Know, and I would just read that every day because they would post like different things, and then I was like, at this time I didn't know that Zelda University and Zelda Wiki were like partners. And so I was just reading some of the wiki, and they were like, hey, the only universe needs staff. Let's use the staff application this book. So, like, they were doing staff hiring through the universe, and I was like, okay, that's cool. Like, maybe I'll go look at it just to see. And then it's like, we need a project manager. And I was like, hey, I'm organized. Maybe I can try that. In fact, I might be able to find. The actual application, it might still be up. Uh, yep. We're looking for people to join our development team. It's still there. So they needed a development project manager. And I applied for it. And I got it. So. That is radical. Wow. No, December 12th, 2015. That's great. So, so that's a flip side of all this. Like, how was the, like, was there much of, like, it, it's a, it's a non-profit, like, website, right? Like, uh, actually, we work even. So really? we're not a non-profit. We actually are a LLC. Well, it means yeah. I mean, there is a Patreon link in there. Yeah, so Twitch actually makes the most of our money. Surprise, not, right, not really. Um, Twitch makes a lot of our money. Um, so we make most of our money through there. And we break even, so we pay for like, our server costs. We use AWS. Um, oh, AWS. Um, it works with, you know, it, I'm just thinking, it would probably be nice if you could get out the wiki out of that, just because I know that they kind of have the. Uh, but they had, they used to have their own server, and then they let something happen, they had to move on to some other thing. Oh, that's important. Um, the wiki is owned by Curse. Oh, nice. So oh. that is important. They are owned by Curse. Um, so they're owned by Gamepedia, and Tom's Twitch, and all that fun jazz. Oh. They pay for the hosting and everything. We just run oh. it. Unfortunately, they're also added a few more ads than are very necessary. I think Curse is like head of everything, and then it's like Twitch and Gamepedia and all of its like numbers. Right, because I've seen a lot of Twitch and Curse. I was not involved in the actual making of the Curse deal. I just know what's happening. So. so how was, how was, like, at that time, like, was there much of it, like, an interview process at all, or was it sending a resume and they were like, yeah, sure. I like, actually didn't have a resume at this time. Um, <laughs> so I was like, hey, um, I might actually be able to find an email So yeah, I was just like, I'm a huge fan of Zelda, and then I was like, here's all the crap that I own. I own the t-shirt, I own the bag, I own gloves, I'm a student at Mount West, <laughs> third semester. So wait, um, you got the job I sent? Here, here's all the merchandise that I own. Pretty much. Um, so I said, you know, like, I am taking stuff, and I made a business plan, so I'm including in an example of my abilities to effectively manage projects. Oh, I did have a resume. Okay, I thought I did have a resume. Um, so I had a resume and I attached it, and it took her a while to get back to me. Um, so I was like, you know, wondering what's happening. And then she got back to me January 9th and was like, sorry, Christmas delayed us. And I was talking about when I was free and um, how much doing it would be an honor for me. So I won't like slack off or anything. I'm just wanted to do slack. Um, and then they were like, um, fantastic. So, like, like, they gave it to me. That's pretty incredible, honestly. Yeah, so, you know, take the risk, go out there, try it. More of the moral of the story, <laughs> don't, don't be afraid to say Yeah, hey. don't be afraid, like, so, at the summit, we talked about how, when you're starting a business, there's a lot of risk involved in it. So you have to learn, as a person, how much risk you're willing to take. That's why I'm talking about focusing on your strength and focus on yourself. Because who you are is more important than what you do. And that's what I believe fully. Because, you know, I'm thinking on Corey, 
Corey realized really early on what he was good at, and it was really interesting for me to be able to see that. Um, I watched him go through Mount West. I haven't watched him as much here because I'm not happy with him, but you know, he was just really good at, at like Unity and, and Unreal and, and the 3D modeling and all the stuff that he does, and maybe I'm wrong about what he's actually good at. But um, just I would watch him do a really amazing things and work way outside of class and just put so much time and effort into it, and I was like, dear Lord, I don't want to do that. What is wrong with me? And I got my degree, and I was like, oh God, I don't want this degree. What am I going to do? And then I was like, I need to do something else. And that's why I do MIS, because I realized a little bit too late that I'm not going to be entering game development that way. Um, I, I can't sit in a cubicle and program all day. I promise you, I will shoot myself. Um, and I'm just very candid about that, because um, well, that I mean, was a mistake on my part that I didn't realize until. I could give you a very, I could give you a list of very similar ways you can treat yourself with some programming. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> I mean, like, if any of you know Philip, like, Philip can actually program things with art, and I'm just like, dear lord, that's great, but no, I don't want to do that, like, I don't want to program. Now, I am much better at web in programming than I am at, like, C++, C Sharp. I've never actually made a game that worked. Uh, I did work on a C Sharp project, but it never worked, so that was great. But I did flip a coin a hundred times with C++, that worked. Um, I made a few tiny things in Swift. Um, like I said, the databases I've done, where we would make forms and then implement into databases I've done. Um, but like programming really is not my thing. I just I just don't gel with it. But I still want to make games and I want to join Nintendo. I just need to approach it from a different aspect, which is why the MIS is great because it's in the college of business. And so it gives me a lot of business knowledge that you don't necessarily get in a traditional game development degree. You get a lot of hands-on stuff, and that's great for people who are really good at hands-on stuff. But I'm not. So it's like. This is not going to help me. I need to do something else. And that's why I'm important on focusing your strengths and like owning your strengths because I found my strengths. It was organization and project management and you know things like that. And I was like, I need to hone those things. So I did that and I'm getting my degree in December and going into it a little bit differently. And I still intend to join Nintendo. Um, I'm not exactly sure how or when, but I intend to work my way up Nintendo until I get to be. This is when Reggie's ready to retire, you know, maybe I can take him into jail, that'd be nice. So, you know, that's pretty much my story, and I encourage people to find out their stories, and, you know, don't get wrapped up in, in like, having to be, like, a game developer based on, like, your degree. Like, I really like, if you were at the expo, um, um, was it Shane the Moon, how she was talking about she was a producer, and, like, I'm more that end of it, like, you know, just like, don't be afraid to like go out there and try things because she, she did a hundred job offers first time she got hired at Sony, but then she got hired at Sony. So it kind of like negated everything else, you know, like it's okay to go out there and do it a different way and do it differently. So. Oh. Yes. Uh, so like you said starting out that um, you went to like Mount West, right, to study uh, development. Mm -hmm. that... I do have, I have associates in admission and development and web design. I have two associate degrees in that, mm -hmm. so. More to that. <laughs> uh, no, I just like I remember you mentioned something about it before. Like you said, you wanted to shift the business, and I forgot what it was. Oh, yeah. Um, you want to talk about the three plus two so, program or whatever it was? So okay, so Marshall does have, and it was still in the works when we were graduating, but um, they were working on signing a program where when you graduated Mount West, you could come over to Marshall and get into their game development program. I think it was going to be like. Two plus two and a half, I think, is what it, it was. Um, I actually don't know because I'm not in the program, so I'll have to ask like Michael or Corey or someone who's actually in it. But um, I thought I wanted to do that, and I was pretty much set in that. I applied to the College of Science, and the College of Science was like, you never took an ACT, you might want to do that. So I was like, that's another thing I don't want to do, so then maybe I shouldn't go to the College of Science. Um, but like I said, when I graduated, I was like, oh my gosh. I'm driving home and I'm like, I have these two degrees and I really don't like doing them. What am I going to do? Like, I don't want to get a bachelor's in this because that would suck and I'd have to do calculus and I'd have to do a couple other things I really don't want to do. So I was like, I need to do something else. And they make you take an MIS class at um, Mount West as like part of the degree. And I actually took it online and I just went through the book and like made a business plan and some other random stuff. And it just works really well for me and gelled well with me. And I was like, this is great. And then I was like, oh wait, Marshall has a degree in that. Maybe I should go do that. And it's just worked out a lot better for me than, than gaming ever did. And that's fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with starting a path and then switching and being like, 
oh, okay, that didn't work, let's do something else. And I encourage people to realize that because they're always like, oh gosh, we've wasted all this time and money and energy and effort and what are we going to do now? And then they freak out and then it gets worse and it's okay. Right. <laughs> no more questions? Cool.